Hey guys, welcome back to the 9 for 9 podcast. I'm your host, Jason Kim. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Join with my brother, Paulie. What's good, baby? And then on my left, we got Megan Yu. Hello. And then on my right, we got Jennifer Lee. Hi, everyone. It's the me episode. It is. <laughs> yeah. It is the Jennifer Lee episode. Yes, sir. But before that, we got to... know ooh. about me? No, 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 no. But before that... <laughs> we got a lot to address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got to talk about this party that we just went to. Right, right, like right. two days ago. Bro. It's lit. <laughs> Wait, explain the party. The who was it yeah, for? Yeah, what was it for? Yeah, so this is for Wu-Tok's birthday party. From, yep. He's from UTI, obviously. Mm-hmm. It was, it was also all, his launch party. Yup. Super Bonsai. Yup, yup, yup. Um, we got invited out. Bro. Yeah, Literally bro. all of our guests... Dude. Dude, it was just like an influencer party on another yeah, level. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That's the best party I've been to in like a couple years. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? It, it was cool because it yeah. wasn't just people trying to get fucked up. It was right, people right. trying to network. Right. That's what I yeah. like, bro. Yeah. It was a lot of networking. I met a yeah. bunch of crazy people. Dude, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only that, they had an open bar and like Amazing. a bunch of shit, right? But because yeah. of the open bar, bro, we were all fucked. I got extremely slow. Yeah, can we talk about that story real quick? <laughs> yeah, wait, Paul, Paul. All right, so Bro. I was standing like right next to Jennifer, right? Yeah, and this this party was like in the hills. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. it was like on a cliff. Right. Looking out of right. Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I lose my momentum. <laughs> and I free fall off the cliff and into some bushes, and these fuckers just watch me. I no, I no, I no. Bring this on. Like, <laughs> you know what? Like I, I, we have all the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah You yeah, guys yeah. gonna see all this shit right now. Yeah. But there's, it's like a slant. You just fuck you were in a jungle. So Huge she slant. just tries to like walk down it. Right. She's like drunk as fuck. So uh-huh. she, be, she didn't realize there's a slant. So she just keeps going. Yeah, she couldn't stop. And then she just runs through the bush. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't run. I tripped. I no, think. She, yeah, no, yeah. Like, you Too much momentum. Yeah. And then you just went through the bush. And I was telling Megan this, bro. Yeah. Do that. This, <laughs> this bush, like, it closed. It like she went in and then it closed. It did. It it did. Closed. Like, it was like a door. Like, nobody would know that she went through. I know, like, it, bro. There was, no, there was no mark on it. It was so bad. <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, no way. We had like 10 yeah. dudes trying to help yeah. pull her out. And at first, we didn't know if it was like actually a cliff. And right. you just like disappeared. Right, right. And then you open it up and like, <laughs> you're, I see you like <laughs> down there, like in the rug. Quiet, too. She's like, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I wasn't there to witness any of this. Yeah, where were dude. you the whole party? Dude, I was just running around. Like, with who? People. No, I was just hanging out with a bunch of people. <laughs> but like, yeah, I wasn't with any dude. of them all night. Nah, dude, facts. Dude, and usually Megan's the problem, but this time you were the fucking problem. No I was not a problem. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you Oops. mean? Oops. <laughs> Oops. A first party single, drunk. You, un- you got to understand that. You got to understand that for sure. A time was had. Dude, there was like an off-duty cop like uh-huh. like bro, patrolling the... She robbed his head. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. I was she robbed say, the bald police officer's head. Yeah. Dude, he said I could. <laughs> Dude, he was hot, too. No, he was not. He was hot. No, he was not. Bro. No, he was not. I thought he was, he was like Dill 5. Dill no, 5. Okay, I'll, I can see that. But I can he see just that. had like a really shiny head, so I was like wanting to rub it. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Hey, what time did y'all get back home after that shit? Oh my god, we all oh, fell dude. asleep. Well, I fell asleep. Jennifer fell asleep. Uh-huh. We kind yeah. of did a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, Wait, we. Did you come home with us, Megan? Yeah. Oh, you did. <laughs> you guys tried to leave me there. No, Apparently. we did not. No way. Wait, what? Oh. No, Paul left early. Oh, yeah, I left yeah. early. Yeah, Paul yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we were we went back to like our friend's house in L.A. To, yeah, like, yeah, chill yeah. Out. And uh-huh. then like they obviously she was fucked up. She was uh-huh. fucked up. Uh-huh. And, like I don't know why. I think at the party, yeah, I was like telling myself, "Yo, I can't get fucked up." Yeah, yeah you were. So you then were. When I came back after, uh-huh. that's when it all hit me, bro. Oh, it hit so you like, after? Yeah, yeah. So like my head was hurting. I was like, "There's no way." Uh huh. So we just chilled there till like six a.m. No morning. way, yeah, bro. No yeah. way. Yeah. And then I, and then we just drove back. And then we went back. Damn. Paul, yeah. I remember you left and I was like, no. Why? You were having fun though, it seemed no, like. because I felt like, I was like, this is not going down that good. Oh. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Honestly, like, I was, I knew I was fucked. So I was yakking right in front of your boy's house, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Just to sober up real quick. Yeah, yeah. Right next to me, Jennifer. Throwing up as yeah. well. Or trying to. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> <laughs> the throw up. Bu- yeah, throw up partners for real. Well, I didn't Bro. even know you guys yeah Dude, I yacked yeah. so many times. Bro. Also, Did you really? I Dude. yacked almost four times. <gasps> Dude, and you know it's the craziest part, right? Whoa, like, whoa, Jennifer whoa. don't live with me no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that night, obviously, I pull up here because uh-huh. she came here earlier in the day. So yeah, the yeah, car yeah. was here. So, but then she was way too fucked to, to drive. So uh-huh. we're like, just come in. 
She comes in with like a blanket over, like one shoe is lost. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Literally, she came in without a shoe. Like, yeah. And she had one shoe on. Oh my God. And then she went straight to my grandma's room. Uh huh. Yeah, my grandma was heated, bro. Was oh, so really? She was heated, yeah, she was so bro. Bad. No. Really? Yo, I just realized you should insert that photo of her bruises, though, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, that's Jennifer crazy, like sent in a bro. picture of her bruise in our group chat. Post party, like, oh my goodness. She yeah, but pretty. shout out to Wu Tai, man. Like he oh, knows yeah. how to throw a fucking party. He bro. knows how to throw one, man. Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm, yeah, we mm-hmm. met a fuck ton of people. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we went to chain smokers. Oh yeah. Yesterday, <laughs> Jason and I were like last minute sent it because our friend was gonna get us tickets. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then. Yeah. It was it was crazy because a lot of people came up to us and I felt so cool. Like we took pictures <laughs> of people. Yeah. But then I floored for like an hour, but then I was fine. More like two. It was an hour. I looked at the timestamp. More like two, but you know, <laughs> who's counting, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jason was definitely counting. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, no, no, it was good though. And uh, you saw Arm and Hammer too. Kind of made it for like the last. Oh couple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. kicked it with that boy for like an, a cool oh, minute at the party yeah. too. Did you yeah, no, me and Jason were just chopping it up with him. But no, I was going to say, speaking of all this drinking stuff, uh, going back to last episode, mm-hmm. there was like a lot of positive comments. But before we address those, I want to say, I did say bro a shit ton of times, but we were all <laughs> mad fucked up, yo. So, I wasn't even that fucked up. I just didn't realize you said Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, <laughs> no one just said anything, yeah. but I'll, I'll make it up for y'all one day. I'll make it up for y'all one day on cam. <laughs> but I know, I saw People were mad saying. about that. Yeah, but besides that, what? Dude, we got to give some, some like, Give some compliments to the fans, bro, oh, to yeah, the supporters, yeah. like, bro. Oh, it's actually insane. We feel very hopeful now and very just fucking grateful. And 30K in three days, 200 plus comments, bro. When the fuck have we ever done that? No, I no, know. I read all the comments too, and they're like nice, long paragraphs. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it's actually insane that like people take the time to like write that out. Right. Yeah. So nice. Shout out to y'all. Y'all went stupid. It all means right? a lot for and real. And also, at the end of this video, we're going to do the cinnamon challenge. Oh, yeah. So we're going to play a game. Uh-huh. Two losers have to do the cinnamon challenge. Everyone knows what that is. Yeah, yeah, It's like yeah, just yeah. a spoonful Fuck, of cinnamon. Fuck, bro. I never type done shit. this shit. Fuck. Type shit, type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. I'm, let's I do really, it. I really, really <laughs> don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. <laughs> we got to get her to I do really, it now. I really, really, really don't I want <laughs> Paul to do it. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? So we're going to like have to, we have to swallow it or? No, no. No, or is no, it like you 30 seconds? You try to swallow it. Okay. But I don't know if you can, brother. But we should set it like at least 30 seconds. Okay. Or something? Yeah. Okay. No, there's no way you can swallow it. Yeah, I heard it's oh, super really? hard. Yeah. Oh. Really hard yeah, because it's so dry. Yeah. But we could try, shit. <laughs> Anything uh, else, though, what? that's been going on with y'all? I mean, no, that's pretty much it, bro. This week, this weekend was a bender. Bender. Dude, uh, there's a fucking hurricane going on right now in SoCal. It's supposed <laughs> to be hurricane. No hurricane. But, yeah, bro, it's not bad at all, dude. What the hell no, is this? No, it's pussy-ass rain. I wanted to see, like, a bunch of rain. For real, bro. And don't say that. I know, sorry. <laughs> don't say <laughs> sorry, you want to see sorry, some Sorry, shit. sorry, sorry. I don't want to see it. Yeah, I don't really man. like that, but I'm just saying. Dude, me and Megan start school tomorrow, too, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Fucking yeah. back to the... The dude, sad life. Dude, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, what bro. You just, what you still doing in school, bro? For real. <laughs> Getting ready for grad school, brother. <laughs> Getting the prereqs done, baby. Come on no, now. No, I'm not excited. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm not excited at but all. But this was like the best last week of summer for me. Uh, yeah, I could say I this was, was a, a great six weekend. day bender, yeah. but I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Facts. All right, well, we can just get into the Jennifer Lee episode. Are you yep, ready? Yep. Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Welcome to my episode. <laughs> yeah. um, please be nice to me, guys, because honestly... I'm I'm very weak hearted. They are nice, bro. They are, they are yeah, nice. they never <laughs> mean. I know, they but never. I'm just making sure because I I take it personally sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, they got you, bro. I feel like our fans love you the most. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, bro. I you feel do? like a, a lot of people are mean to me because they think I'm really tough, but I'm low key not that tough. I just act that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well don't be, be mean, don't be mean. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I'm sure they won't, but um, I can just start with the first question. Yeah, let's get it. Um, obviously, like they know our past, like we've we've lived together. Mm-hmm. But I feel like one of the biggest things that happened early on in your life mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. the situation with you and your mom. Yeah. Right. So I wanted to see right. if you can like talk about that a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I can talk about that. So my mom got sick when I was in fifth grade, mm-hmm. and I would have to go to Korea like. 10 times in a year to visit her. Oh, she was yeah, in Korea? So she was getting treatment in Korea. Mm-hmm. Damn, was better. T- you were going 10 times? I was going like wow. 10 times. Wow. Or like back and forth. So yeah. I was yeah. going like five were you? times a year. How this was in fifth grade. 
Okay. Yeah. And I would fly there by myself. Shit, yeah, at bro. that age. And then I would stay there for a little. I missed a lot of school during that time. Uh huh. And then when I was in sixth grade, she got sick. Or she got better first. So mm-hmm. she moved back to America. And then she got sick again. So she moved back to Korea. Oh, wow. Yeah. So a lot of moving in that early stage. A lot of state. moving. And at that time, um, I prayed like every day. Oh, you're yeah. super religious? I was very religious at the time. So I even went to this 40-day prayer thing with my grandma. <laughs> oh, I remember 40 oh. days of prayer. And I would be bawling, <laughs> sobbing, uh-huh. asking God, please save my mom. Yeah. But eventually, she just got too sick and then passed away when I was in sixth grade. In mm-hmm. sixth grade? In May of 2010. Wait, Fun. so... Yeah. If you're comfortable, do you know like what kind of sickness it was? Oh, it was stomach cancer. Stomach, okay. stomach Fuck cancer. cancer, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. cancer, bro. And I just want to say to all the people who have lost a parent, mm-hmm. I see you guys. Like it's it's not just their death that affects you. It's afterwards, I think, where it really kicks in like every Mother's Day or if yeah. you see Fuck, yeah. Like for me personally, it's like when I see girls being really close to their mom, mm-hmm. like their mom is like their best friend. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. always like, damn, like I wish I had that, you know? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. That's, yeah. For sure. that's one of the most tough things, even though it has been like a while since then. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I still struggle with that. And when I go through hard times, like, for example, heartbreak, mm-hmm. the first thing I think is like, damn, like, I wish like my mom, mom was here. here. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's Dude. Tough, bro. Yeah, no, that's really tough. But yeah, um, for anyone going through that, like, I see you and it's really tough. Mm-hmm. So, yeah just want to give my love out to those people yeah, yeah. Wait, so i'm like tearing up holy shit yeah no, 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 it's no, okay that's cool it's okay. Yeah. you can cry this episode yeah but so how did that affect your life after that happened it was really tough because my dad um i don't think he was set out to be like a girl dad and especially more like a single parent Mm. I mean, in that situation, it's hard for everyone, mm-hmm. but the adjustment from not having someone to take care of me was yeah. really tough because yeah, he yeah. was working. Okay. And so when I was younger, I would walk home every day by myself. Yeah. Like, I spent a lot of time alone when I was young. Fuck. Mm-hmm. So okay. it was really isolating. And uh-huh. Yeah, it just sucked, honestly. Wait, so then did you grow up with your dad? Because I know you moved in with Jason. So how did that even get to that point? Yeah, so my dad, I stayed with him for a little bit. But um, I needed someone to take care of me. Uh So Jason's mom actually like took care of me when I was living with him. Mm. Oh, and it was because your dad physically couldn't because he was working too much? Right, so even if he was able to, he would have to come home at like 7, right? Mm -hmm. But then by then, I'm by myself for so long. Yeah, and you're young still. And my dad doesn't really cook, you know, since he never really had to. Uh So it was just too difficult for me and my dad. Yeah. So we thought it was a better idea if like I just moved in with Jason. Uh Uh-huh. But... Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like that was one of the toughest moments of my life. Like well, <laughs> after going through um, losing my mom, yeah, and then I moved in with like two boys. Yeah, <laughs> and we had to share a room. Yeah, like, I had no privacy. Uh huh. I really felt like very alone during that time. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and during that really time, tough. were you close to Jason and his brother? No. Not oh, not at all. at all. No. Fuck. So how was that dynamic between you guys at yeah, that time like when you first moved home. in? Dude, honestly, like I was pretty young. Uh huh. I, the timeline still gets mixed up for me. Yeah. But, like, dude, I honestly don't really remember too much like, were from you guys, that era. Did you even talk to her? Yeah, of course we talked. But I like, don't think me and Jason talked, uh-huh. like, at all. Oh, really? So, two oh. different stories. <laughs> <laughs> two different stories. <laughs> no, I'm the truth. Of course we talked because well, yeah, we lived Jason in the same house. Of course, house. of course. Yeah. But we didn't talk like this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We never talked about our yeah. life stuff. It yeah, was yeah. more just, like... When you have a roommate that yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to live mm, with. like a stranger yeah. almost, yeah, yeah. almost yeah. like a stranger. Fuck. Okay. But did you how like did your relationship with your dad change like from before and after? Like, do you think you guys got closer at all? Like, he just wasn't mm. involved in more. That's the thing. I think after that happened, mm-hmm. I wanted to talk to somebody about it, but my dad kind of acted like a, nothing happened. Mm. which was really tough like oh what we would never bring my mom up in any situation oh, yeah. so i had all this repressed emotion yeah i was angry um 
but I never really had anyone to talk about it with. Wait, then I have a follow-up question. Then how, because I know a lot of people struggle with like letting out their emotions, especially when they feel like they have no one to be there for them. It was so awkward too, because when I first, when it first happened, I didn't tell any of my classmates. Oh, so they were just like, okay, they didn't know. They didn't even know. So everyone that, because at that young age, it's really hard to bring it up yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Like you can't just be like, oh yeah, my mom died. Yeah. Like it's really tough. For sure. That's almost like... You'd be ashamed to bring that up. No, yeah, 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 that yeah, age yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. For a while, I didn't even bring it up until I got close enough to that person. Mm, yeah, yeah, I see. I would just kind of act like I have both parents. Like I would say my parents, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah. okay. Well, what I was going to ask was just like what, like, what made you get through that? Like, what's your mindset? Because you have no one to talk to, right? Mm-hmm. There's no, you just held it down and just held it forever? Or is there something that like helped you feel better you know what i mean mm. like what allowed you to get through this like god or like i think going to church being around people who would pray for me dead ass yeah but over time i think you just learn to adjust and then it comes in waves you know yeah. like there's moments of sadness and right. then you still have to live which is the really crazy part like in your own life you can be going through something so depressing yeah but then the rest of the world is keep living facts yeah. facts, yeah. facts so i think that's a, another tough thing that i had to navigate especially with school too yeah especially know? with school yeah and um yeah i just went to church i did music just try to build up my future yeah okay yeah but i will say i I always felt very trapped until I went to college. Mm. Yeah, because even living with my harmony and stuff, yeah. was very isolating. Mm. Yeah, and I always felt like she kind of, like, I just felt that she, I felt bad because the only reason she was here and, like, going through all of that when she also didn't really know English, mm-hmm. she doesn't have any any like friends here yeah um, so the only reason she was here and going through all that was because of me so i felt that burden too mm. oh like, that makes yeah, sense yeah. yeah so i just kind of kept to myself and stayed out of her way Fuck, yeah bro, that shit must have been hella hard yeah, bro. Bro. i feel that i mean your your dad's like the classic asian dad too like doesn't really you know let his, his emotions exactly. yeah oh, so okay. like it's tough. yeah there's no way that he could have helped you out during that time either right yeah. or he could have but he just didn't know he how to didn't yeah yeah did, is Jason cousins to your mom's or your dad's side? Jason's my dad's side. So your my dad's dad side. and uh-huh. his mom are siblings. Wait, so then going back, getting onto that timeline, when did you say you moved in to his house? Mm, it was like middle school. Right so before like seven, middle eight. school started. Oh, right mm, before middle school yeah. started. So then how long did you live with him? <clears throat> uh, maybe till ninth grade. Oh, you seven lived? Seven to ninth grade and then tenth, like tenth grade, my grandma started taking care of me. Oh, yeah. oh I see. Okay. Okay, okay. And anything like else happened during like middle school or high school you want to talk about? Mm, not really. I didn't really like those those years. Those years, yeah. I was kind of trying to just get through it. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. on your own and thing. shit like that. Okay. Yeah. So and I could have been friends with Jennifer her <laughs> senior year, but <laughs> bro, like she would have never been friends with I a know. freshman, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> what I actually might have. I mean, yeah, we were in. Band you think so? T- yeah, we were in band so. together. <laughs> <laughs> who knows who knows bro who knows but all right so it was really tough going like through that time did it ever yeah, start yeah. to get better because you said you entered college right and it got better yeah so in college it got a little better because i was i low-key wilded out in college oh yeah, for real all that repressed i think in college i i s- like seek the wrong things okay can you yeah. kind of get yeah, into like, more detail like, that. i went a little crazy Like, I would um, party a lot, Uh and Mm -hmm. then I would use drugs a lot to kind of deal with that feeling of emptiness. Like, I've Mm. consistently felt this void that I had to fill with other things that were not the best for me. Fuck, Mm. yeah. Yeah, so it was really hard. And also, um, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about people in high school when they don't like party and do all that stuff once mm-hmm. they get to college like it unleashes like a monster yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> because you don't get that kind of freedom before right so it's really hard to know what your limit is yeah did you like were you living at the dorms your freshman year yeah i was at the dorms and then i moved in to the apartment with some um of the sorority girls that mm-hmm. i met but yeah 
that part was really tough because also something about not having a parent around is you don't know how to do the right things. Yeah. No one's there to tell you like you have to be a good friend to your friends. So a lot of, I made a lot of mistakes in college that I regret now Mm -hmm. because I never knew how to treat others around me. Like I hurt a lot of people and I feel bad about that Mm. because I was hurt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, were you were in a sorority? I was in college. I was a, in a sorority and business frat. So oh I did shit! Well. Okay. Was it was it like Asian Asian sorority? Yeah, Asian sorority, mm-hmm. and then I did um, a business frat. Yeah. At the same time, it was fun, but again, I was not a good person. Yeah. So <laughs> I. Yeah. You talking about like guys or girls or no both? both. Like both? I just mm-hmm. was very selfish because I think I held a lot of resentment and mm-hmm. I thought i deserved it like anything that i did i thought i deserved it and i could get away with it Mm because i went through so many hardships already that i thought i deserved the life that i wanted no yeah Yeah. it's it's not your fault i mean like you just you finally moved out of your house like you actually have all this freedom yeah and i feel like around that time too is when you started you know you had your glow up. A lot of guys started hit on you, right? Exactly. Because okay. I knew I know a lot of guys didn't really hit on you in high school. No, in high school yeah. I was like the band kid. Oh, like, for I real. Was in marching band all four years. I got no attention in oh. high school. Uh-huh. So, I think another drug to me was that attention that I got from, from guys. Because mm-hmm. I had a really big glow up from my senior year to first year of college. Mm. So I got all this guy attention. I became hella boy crazy. And I just dated the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> How many guys until did you date? now? I like, guess date date. I feel like there's not many. No, not really. I dated yeah. like three, now four. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Damn. What do you think? Like, made you have that glow up? Um, I lost a lot of weight after my first breakup. Mm. Oh, yeah. it's always because a breakup. I was so heartbroken, as I t- said before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I did not eat for like three months. Nah, <laughs> for real? It would make me physically sick. Yeah. yeah. I would look at food and feel nauseous. No, yeah. Even Such though I didn't thing. eat anything. That happened to me after my breakup, too. Yeah. I couldn't, like, literally, I tried to eat because I was so hungry. But mm. every time I tried to eat, I'd be like so nauseous. I thought I was going to throw up. Jesus, mm. bro. That's crazy. That's like the post breakup glow up. <laughs> it wasn't so even stressed. a glow up though i feel like it kind of um because once you lose a lot of weight mm-hmm. and once you get that kind of attention you want to do everything in your power to keep that mm-hmm. momentum sure. going sure, right sure, sure. so like that's when i also developed like very unhealthy patterns in my life mm-hmm. yeah like, such as trying to like starve Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, like eating, like disorders? eating disorders? Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. I went through that too. Fuck. And then the drugs also played into it as well. Fuck. Mm-hmm. So overall, I was just very lost. Yeah. And I tried to fill that void with whatever I could. Right. Yeah. So I didn't have to deal with my emotions. What do you think like made that switch? <clears throat> like obviously you're not the same person right now as you're in college. Yeah. Like sure. what so what, yeah, what happened that made you like make that switch? Um, I low-key feel like it was COVID. Oh, really? COVID kind of um, forced me to spend some time inside uh-huh. and not being outside, ruining my and other people's lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, you kind of had like a long hoe phase. Yeah, uh, kind of. How long? I mean... Because from college to when COVID? Was, when was COVID for you? Like your junior year? Um, Sophomore year? COVID was like no, my was no, COVID was my, my junior year. year. It was like senior year. My senior oh, year of high school okay, okay. or senior year of college. It was like her fifth year. Yeah. Oh, no, that was wow. my fifth year. Yeah. That was my fifth year. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Okay. I also had to take a year off of school. Oh what? Oh, really? Why did you have to take a year off? Because of my drug addiction. Oh shit, really? bro. Yeah. Mm. It was a full year of it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. How do you think? Like, how like did you feel coming out of it? Kind of, you know, transitioning back into real life. Mm, it was easier because i didn't have any responsibilities at the time Mm. so i could just go through like all the withdrawals and like yeah Mm -hmm. and then i was able to get my life back on track and i think connecting with my old friends really helped me heal yeah okay because that's when i kind of decided that i want to try to be a good friend to people Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i started just attracting like good people who actually care about me right yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so 
I kind of worked on myself. I got better, and yeah, I'm here now. What I'm made like you? Now. <laughs> what made you stop the drugs? Um, if I'm being honest, yeah, it's because it was dry. It was dry. Wait, what yeah, do you mean? It was like a dry season. <laughs> there just wa- <laughs> there just wasn't. There just wasn't any left. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. What the hell? What the hell? What? Like no, they stopped actually, producing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah that yeah. actually made me stop. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, that's what it was. No, oh actually. shit. Because I've had I've had a lot of crazy stories. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. But none of them made me stop. Really? Oh, yeah. so you're actually right. addicted? No, I was very, very addicted. Yeah. Oh. How long was this period? Uh, maybe like a year and a half. Yeah, because mm-hmm. usually something really either like something really bad happens that makes you stop. Dude, yeah. You know? So many bad things happen, yeah. but nothing stopped me. Hmm. Can I ask like what like one story do you want to talk about? Uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah. What was your drug of choice? No, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> that. But I do remember in the past you said you tend to enjoy things more than the average human. I do. I have a very addictive personality. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So, um, let's say you're all doing a couple of drugs one night. Yeah. I'll take it to the next two nights. I beg your pardon. Yeah, you just keep doing yeah, it. Yeah. Like, uh, someone will do it just for the night. But yeah. I'm the type where I take it to. Like, yeah, you chase the high. I chase the Fuck, high. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad you out of that now, bro. So okay, so going back, so your dealer said no more. They ain't making no more. <laughs> making no more. <laughs> but I feel like that that doesn't really make someone stop though. Usually they'll just go to someone else. No, there was no more. Period. Like no, you no were taking added. some exotic ass shit in. Like yeah, production so. stopped. It sounded <laughs> like yeah. that ass the whole like in the whole down. in the United States. Well, there's off the sure. market. I'm sure there was some <laughs> here, here and there, but the people I went to, it was dry. Uh, ah, yeah. I okay. had like three or four plugs at the time, and, and they it was all, all dry. It was all wow. dry. Wow, <laughs> what the fuck? How, that's like, crazy. Was, how and hard was that though? I feel like that's it was insane. So hard. Right, and I did it. Um, naturally, like I didn't go to no rehab, right. cold turkey, yeah, cold mm. turkey, everything. You had withdrawals or no? Oh, yeah, I had like, some really bad. Withdrawals. What's the symptoms? Are you like itching and shit? Not itching, but very, um, emotionally unstable. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck, so was bro. it was it one drug or is it a variety? There was a couple, I was probably like three in my roto. There was a little, <laughs> like, <laughs> a little <laughs> rotation going on. I, I had a rotation, yeah. Oh, wow. So, but I'm guessing that only one of those stopped production, right? Right, but so I couldn't do those. I couldn't do the other two the other? without the one. Wow. <laughs> like it was like a three and one. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Like okay. there was no point in doing the other ones. It's a trifecta. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, All yeah, three yeah. are needed for me to have. Yeah. 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 I feel yeah. that. I, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. I, I see <laughs> you what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. You feel me, like, I see what you're, you're saying. There is a balance. Yeah. 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 Balance because. Right. 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 Uppers and lowers. Right. 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 You're right. Okay. You feel me. You feel me. Yeah. That's all. And that's that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. If you're going through that, um, you got this. Well, like, so I want to, that doesn't, like, if someone out there is actually going through a drug addiction, yeah, mm-hmm. like, they're not, in today's day, like, they're not, like, that's not going to happen. Their yeah. drug is not going to run out. Yeah. So I'm guessing your drug that you used to take, right. it came back onto the market, right? Probably, it's yeah. So, back. so. <laughs> so <laughs> Wait, so, wait, okay. She knows exactly when it came back. Not picking up anymore. Please, please don't think Yo, that. Yo, dealers were like, Jennifer, yeah. it's back. No, 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 it's, not okay, honestly, it's not back. Honestly, dealers have like a conscience too, though. Right, like, yeah, if they know. If you pick up way too often, they'll like check up on you. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, like I've seen you like twice this week, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's business for them, but it's also like, Damn. there's a point where you feel like you're ruining someone's life by being bro not for sure yeah. you know it's yeah. a wake-up call if your dealer is saying some shit oh yeah exactly. and you know these dealers are dudes too so they're yeah. probably like you know like you know yeah like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but also like so when they did come back did that not tempt you because if your only reason to stop was that it wasn't mm. there anymore. that wasn't my only reason i wanted oh. to change okay okay. Oh, okay yeah but that was just what got me to because i didn't have the willpower to do it when right. it's available yeah and so when it came back you were just like already this many months sober also, so you were just like fuck it i'm gonna stop also, forever also also i will say my ex at the time was kind of one of the biggest reasons why i was able to do it so even mm. though our relationship was tumultuous i do thank him for that 
Oh, your ex helped you stop. He helped me stop. Because oh, he oh I thought you were saying. Oh, I thought you were about to say he was a supplier oh, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? He helped me because he he also knew about it and he kind of was there for me. That's good. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that is good. That's, that's good. the type that of guy. Mm-hmm. How do you long did around? you go like cold turkey, or like how long do you think like your um, like symptom like withdrawals lasted? Um, it was like a month or two mm. of like sweating and shit oh. fuck man wow yeah <gasps> that's a long time that is a long time yeah well i wanted to kind of move past the drugs now i feel like we've yeah. been talking about the drugs for a minute yeah we have but Let's like move past it. you so you, when you went to college you was living out doing your thing right mm-hmm. but when i first met you it was around that covid time and you seemed like you moved back into this house so how did, did that happen like why'd you move back um, here um just because i didn't um because it was covid i don't know why i did do you think, remember? Oh, I think after my second year of living outside, I had to come home because I realized that I need to stop like ruining other people's lives. I what felt like a burden. I felt like I was being a burden to other people. So mm. I just How? wanted to come home and figure it out. Oh, yeah. to like your friends and stuff? Yeah. But low-key coming home kind of um, made the drugs worse. <laughs> oh because you probably went back to feeling like that void exactly, you're back in the same exactly. situation so i was just i was just doing anything i could to like fill right yeah mm. oh okay that, okay damn damn where was i you were in um rochester oh yeah and then that's when you came home and that's when we got close yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah. okay i remember okay. one time you visited <coughs> for winter break or something like that yeah. and then that's when we started hanging out. And that was when you broke up with your ex. That was, yeah. yeah. That it was, was a, when I got close a, to this guy, too. It was a spring break. Oh, it was spring break. It was break, a spring yeah. break. I came back. And yeah. yeah, yeah, that was the time. Yeah, and then we just started hanging out. Hella, and then you came back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. I wish I was there for you earlier, but... Honestly, I don't know if you would have taken my advice when I was like a sophomore in high school or something. You uh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, you know? honestly, yeah. I don't think... I would have stopped because someone told me to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Because I lost way too many people for me to not do that, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Were you, do you have, like, friends that helped you get along the way? Like, sp- anything? <sighs> I, I have friends, right? But I just did so many of them dirty that I lost them all. Because oh. when, you're on, when you're, like, on that stuff, like, you have no regard for no, anybody except for you. Yeah, oh, and yeah, you definitely. lie and say you'll change, but you don't change until you're off it. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. you're not you. Yeah, so you'll do things that are out of character. Yeah, right. Yeah. So how are those relationships today? Um, I don't have those relationships today, but I respect that because I wouldn't like be friends with me either. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah after the damn. things that I did. Does, you know that's good though that you realize you fucked up that mm-hmm. bad though. Oh, I feel no, like I feel so bad even to this day like I'm really sorry to anyone that I've hurt in the past. Yeah. But um I was just learning. I was just coping. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. Yeah, and like, not that that's an excuse, but Of course not. But like, nobody knows what you went through. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Especially like losing your mom like I I can't even imagine. Yeah, yeah no, imagine seriously, though. what that would make me do. Yeah, yeah, no. I also feel like a lot of people not don't expect that from me when they meet me. Of course like, not. They never think that I have that kind of background. Of course not. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm honestly tired of being like strong all the time. Right. Like it's right. so much. Like I have feelings too. Like of everything course. that I go through, I feel it through. Just because I come on here and like laugh and do all these things doesn't mean I'm not going through my own personal stuff. And it's yeah, it's not easy. Of course. Yeah, because I still have to go through the emotions too. It's not like just because I'm strong, it's easier. Yeah, yeah of course yeah. not. Yeah. Maybe. So I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. Yeah. I think life has gotten significantly better from those days and i'm healing but yeah. i'm constantly learning and growing and it's just been really tiring honestly dude yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure for bro. Sure. like i sometimes wonder like damn when is it my turn to be happy mm. <laughs> you think it hasn't been your turn at all your whole life basically then like mm. you ain't have no good moments where you're like okay oh no of course i have so many good moments in my life and so many memories that i'm thankful for but like genuine happiness though i just want stability Mm. Mm. I want to be happy for a long time. Stip- oh, 
Go ahead. You go, you go ahead. You go I was going to say, like, how do you think, like, your relationships with, like, guys that you've had, like, boyfriends changed oh you now? Oh, my God. That's, that's a good question, Megan. Yeah. So, um, anyone with parent parental issues or, like, trauma will yeah. let you know that relationships are so tough because <laughs> you, you look for love in, like... You have a fear of abandonment the whole time. Right, right, so right. So it makes you cling on to these men so much harder. Yeah. Yeah. And especially if you don't have a strong sense of self, mm-hmm. like you'll try to find it in any man that will give you the time. I yeah. see. You Just because you really want that feeling. You so want whoever. It so bad and you want to feel loved and you yeah. want to feel cared about. And um, I definitely found, try to find it in the wrong men. Yeah. Like they're also hurt. I was also hurt. Um, yeah, but right now, I think I'm at the best place now. Yeah. And I could see how much I've matured. From Definitely. Then. The progression is actually insane. Cause no, it is. Yeah. I don't know. I was not this mature back then. <laughs> sure. Talk about that, bro. Jason, from you watching Jennifer from afar, you're her family, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How have you seen her grow over this time? Dude, like, I mean, so like Jennifer said, early on in our life, I was never actually close to her. Right, before. right. Like, um, yeah, I mean, I think she resented that we moved into her house. Okay. My family. Oh. So I think after that, like, it was like, like, like she said, I wasn't, I wasn't like close to her. I don't even, I mean, I was so young. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And you guys are just cousins. Yeah. 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 And then uh, this timeline is always so weird. But in, when I was in high school, oh, we weren't living together no more. Uh Uh-huh. And. But seeing her, like, throughout the years, yeah, and just her journey for real, uh-huh. like, I don't. She turned out pretty well. Like, if the, what you thought or something. Well. Like, for for if that were to happen to me at when I was in sixth grade, yeah, I would definitely not be the same person I am today. Oh yeah, of course not. Mm-hmm. Of course not. Yeah, you know, yeah. like losing your like number one supporting yeah. figure in your life. No, for sure. And yeah, I'm mean, like I'm actually very proud of her. Like, obviously, she went through, you know, her bumps in the road mm-hmm. trying to figure out life. But I feel like she's in a good place now. And I wish, I wish I was closer to her sooner. But I think we came, in it, we came into each other's life at the, at the perfect time. Really? Where we could both help each other out. Yeah, for sure. And since you're both a little older and more mature, yeah. too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I mean like, I've only known you for, like barely almost a year not really even but like honestly like she's an amazing friend and like you i didn't even know that you were like that before you know so like Mm -hmm. the way that you're carrying yourself now is like something you should be really proud of i am proud of myself no you should you should be you got to give yourself flowers and shit too i mean everyone goes through shit for sure but your shit's definitely harder than most people you know and it's also like not everyone makes it out those situations. There's so many people who fall, you know, and their life yeah. just goes down and down. So I think, yeah, you definitely done well. But um, also, you get tired of just complaining that your life sucks like that. Of course. You get tired of being like, oh, like, why did life do me so dirty? Yeah. Like, that's when you kind of realize that it's really up to you to change it because yeah. nobody it is. else is going to hold your hand. Right. You're exactly. really tired of the like, people was, pitying you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, something that I'm really embarrassed about is that I didn't want others to think lowly of me because I have no mom. Like I didn't want people to be oh, like, really? oh, like she don't have a mom. That's why she's like that. Yeah. Oh. That's why I, I was kind of like, I need to change. I need to show people that I can make it out this and still be a good person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they wouldn't even expect that happened to me. And that's what I think I did, kind of. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true. When you first meet someone, like, you're not going to ask them, oh, like, is your mom still alive? Oh, definitely yeah, not. Yeah, I think you just expect everyone to have both their parents. You do, yeah. you so, do. I don't know. It is it's tough. tough. Yeah. Also, I feel for you guys when people kind of just throw around, like, jokes or, like, when you have to explain like even when i'm um just meeting people Mm -hmm. they always talk about oh you're so tall like how tall are your parents oh even those little things right so tough for me to even say anything because like i don't know if i say like oh my mom's this height but she's like 
dead, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. so it's like, or like yeah, it's yeah, awkward. It's awkward. Yeah, and it's yeah. hella awkward. There's a lot of moments that that happens, so yeah. It's it's a struggle even now, I think. Yeah. I mean, dude, I I like this is like kind of different from what everyone's been saying, but I, well, I want to tell you I feel like yeah, it's it's annoying and shit. But, like, eventually, like, you are going to be just so accustomed to that that it's not going to bother you no more. I genuinely think that. Because you're, what, 25 now? Yeah. Right? 25. And I don't want that to bother you till you're, like, 40. It, it doesn't bother me, but it's definitely, like, a little trigger. Like so it does bother it's you. It's a little, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's a little yeah. 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 But I'm sure you're going to get over that, too. I mean, I know it's hard, but I want yeah. you to get over it because, dude, little shit like that, I know it adds up. Like, if you're having a bad day and one mm. person happens to say the wrong thing like that, it's going to trigger you, especially, like, I don't know how your mental health was during all that, like, drugs and shit, mm -hmm. but, like, you know, it's hard, bro, like, to stay strong and not fall down and into that depressed stage and shit mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Honestly. Like you got this, bro. I think, um, yeah, being strong is its own battle, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and you don't yeah. want to always, like you said, you don't want to always smile and shit. Like, I don't. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like I'm, if something's wrong, like, it's hard for me to fake being happy. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, now, like, what's something that you're looking forward to now, though, you know? Mm, I want to grow my like career i want to find something that i'm very passionate about right mm -hmm. yeah i want to find a man who loves me and respects me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah i just want to be happy i want to be content with life yeah and i want to have my own family so i can do it the right way dude yeah 100 mm -hmm. bro 100 yeah. percent. uh i mean now that you're graduated yeah is there anything new you want to talk about that's been happening like job wise mm. Like, do you like your job right now, what you're doing? It's cool. It's yeah. kind of more of a paycheck for me. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. It's definitely not end goal. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you did get that big raise. Right? Remember you changed companies? I did. But you still, it's like whatever. Um, to be honest, I'm very in a position where I feel stuck right now. Oh. I feel like I don't have um, a passion that I can enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because... Work is work. Yeah. But I feel like I need to find something that I love doing and enjoy and want to um, become better at uh -huh. mm -hmm. or I'm going to be stuck for a long time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like you're sure. moving. You moved out recently now and I you're did. on your own. Like, how is that going? You know? Oh, I love it. But it is isolating. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel very lonely. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. That's, that's only yeah. natural. But I wanted to ask you a different question because this is uh, something I asked you a lot about like when I was going through my whole job search and shit because mm -hmm. what I know about you was after you graduated, it took you quite a while to find this career that you're currently doing. Oh, yeah, I you know, did. you went through different, a bunch of different avenues. I did. So like yeah. what's an advice you could give to someone who is maybe trying to figure out what to do? Mm, I would say try one thing and if you don't like it, then right. you can move to the next one. Yeah, That's the best advice um, you gave me, bro. Like that because uh, you will waste a lot of time trying to find the perfect thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you have to try things to even know that you don't like it, right? No, for sure. So just try it if it's what's available now and that could lead to other things and open new doors that you didn't think about before. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was hella good advice when you gave me that shit, bro. I feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be scared about that. Dude, now yeah, that, you know, bro. I feel like I have to find something. Even though I'm still in school, I feel like I'm reaching that time now, you know? Yeah. I am struggling too because even at my job, I don't see a long term in it. Mm. Right. Yeah. So I am, I do get scared because I'm like, I don't know if I can do this till I'm 60. Yeah. A lot of second yeah, guesses. A yeah. A lot of for like, sure. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, um, because my ma my job is mainly being at the computer all day, mm -hmm. so I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like just if sit I'm in being there. honest, yeah, just yeah. Sit and in you're there. just working at home, right? Yeah, I'm working at home. Yeah, yeah. that's another thing. I be in my thoughts a lot. Yeah, just yeah, yeah right. And you and you said like your roommate's like always out because she's yeah, at work. My roommate goes to work, so I'm basically sitting at home all day. Yeah. 
And then... <laughs> we need no, to get I'd you a dog or something, No, I'd be a... I actually want to get a dog. Yeah, we need to get yeah. you a dog or a cat yeah, or something. Who has yeah. a doggy yeah. they want to give me? Please? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro. I'd be, uh, I'd be going over to her house because I need to, like, export the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she got a beast-ass, like, PC set up. Oh, okay, so okay. I'd be using her PC and shit. And, like, yeah, bro. She's straight chilling in that room. <laughs> <laughs> got a big-ass TV. Hey, man. Yeah. It'd be like that, though, sometimes. At least yeah. you're stacking your bread, Jennifer, yeah. for real. No, yeah. I'm well, very yeah. thankful that I have a job that I can pay my own bills. Yeah, dude. Everything I pay for my myself i paid for myself since i was in college good shit man yeah, for real. Never asked, um my dad for money like that yeah that's i really always worked yeah did that's a insane bunch too. of hostess jobs you did i yeah. did like everything taught pilates yeah i just yeah, did that. as much as i could and then now i'm like fully self sufficient or like Dude. i i buy everything by myself it's so. amazing for real yeah well, that's put some respect on my name yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um like last couple of things uh, do you have any like what's it called um what's that word like recommendations for like girls that are entering college Ooh, <coughs> protect yourself number one um it's really easy to get caught up in uh, attention and stuff like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but really guard your heart and soul like don't let anyone into your soul like like just don't let anyone receive your energy i mean not even that but just um wait for the right person like just don't let don't let just anybody get to know you like that Mm -hmm. Mm, i see protect your heart yeah protect your heart and um be kind to others yeah (laughs) what about i didn't know that so yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) what about in like the sorority sense would you recommend girls join a sorority (laughs) <laughs> yeah i mean okay so i went to uci so unless you join a club or a sorority like you oh. won't really have that many friends oh yeah. really yeah it's like that okay so i mean it's fun it's a lot of partying and i would say if you are someone who's like me and easily influenced <laughs> and um like addictive personality yeah i would say like be very careful don't start anything that um can lead to <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah the later regret yeah exactly. yeah, yeah. No, for because sure for sure it, okay and then what's crazy about college is like that kind of stuff is so normalized for real because in high school i would have never thought people were out here sticking things up their nose exactly you know? bro but exactly. in college like so. it becomes so normalized that you almost become desensitized to <laughs> for it. real oh yeah and you, you are think, so like, oh, desensitized she's it doing now. it so it's okay if i do it yeah like, don't do it if yeah, <laughs> don't think like <laughs> that bro yeah but uh, I don't know. It's it's tough because for me, I think um, you can't really stop anyone from doing it. You kind of have to let them go through it on their <coughs> that own. That is true. Mm-hmm. But it's just a warning. Like if you know you um, are addictive and stuff like that, right? Like stay very far away it's, from it. Dude, also everyone always says like, I'm gonna just do it once. Don't even yeah. do exactly. the once. That's <laughs> yeah. the thing. Like seriously, all I remember you, you, you guys are like, I'll do it once. No, the thing is, I know myself. I do it once. I can stop it, bro. But you still do it, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, also, I don't. Like, yeah, no. What are you talking about, bro? Like weed, anything? Oh, no, no, no. Are talking about like Addy and shit? Oh, bro, I don't really do that shit no more, bro. Oh, it's just yeah, a... No. Uh, Even smoking, I wish I never touched a vape before. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. It's yeah. so oh, hard yeah. for me to quit. Like, I wish I never touched any of that stuff. If I could go back, I would. But I can't. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is really a look into like the asian soul calcium it is. no it is it, it, is. Is. Like, it is she was in an asian sorority and i was in an asian sorority it obviously is. she's two years older but mm. like this is just what it's like it's like mm-hmm. I, as an asian in soul cal going to college it mm-hmm. is. like it's a lot about influence yeah, yeah. it's yeah. actually insane because like i didn't have an asian friend group until last year like that's what I'm saying. Like meeting all of your friends, I didn't know yeah. any of this at all, yeah. and I like it's actually insane. Like doing drugs is actually so normalized. Mm-hmm. It is every party, every pregame, every like home hangout. Yeah, yeah. every it's every just, rave. Like it's just yeah. yeah, it's insane. And like I literally had no idea because I didn't know any of this stuff. Literally, you know, but yeah. Okay, well, moving past that, yeah. I'm just going to talk about the podcast and shit. So okay. when Jason first asked you to be on the pod, <laughs> what was your thoughts on joining? Like, were you down? Um, I was down, but back then I had a way less secure 
Like I was I was kind of insecure. Okay. So <laughs> the comments would drive me insane. Like any of the mm. any mean comments, anything saying anything about me, yeah. I would be like, oh my god, you need to take that down. Like you need to take that down. Dude, mm. yeah. Yeah, mm. it was really tough, especially um, when you're starting out, and then the people that you know in real life. Dude, yeah. yeah like that's say like, oh, I saw you on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I was it's so hella annoying. No, it's, it's you're embarrassed. Like, a little bit, cause I was um going through a hard time at work too at my old job. Mm-hmm. So just that on top of like the hate, and then they're like, oh, like I see you. It was just a lot. Can yeah. we tell that story of the first TikTok we put out? Yeah. So if you guys scroll to our TikTok page, all the way to the bottom, the first two TikToks, mm-hmm. like she's in them. Mm-hmm. It's because I asked her to be on like first, but mm-hmm. the first ever TikTok that we great. posted, yeah, it didn't do great. It was at like maybe 30, 40 K, but good. it was super good for our first one. Yeah. We were like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, hella like, good. It's hella people watching. But the, I remember this, the very first TikTok we posted, she says something like, I can tell in the first 10 seconds yeah. if I know I'm going to go home with the guy. Yeah, it, that's what it was. There's something like that, right? Yeah. yeah, but I felt like that was kind of... Like misinterpreted a lot. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. But basically, after we posted that, I yeah. think you went to some party. I and did. Then some and someone, someone some came dudes, to right? me. Some dudes, right? Some dudes. was like, yeah. oh, like, you trying to like go, you trying to like fuck or like run right away or whatever. Uh huh. Like someone just said something about it. Referencing that TikTok. Yeah, referencing right, that right. TikTok, and I just like broke down. I was dude, like, I yeah, this. dude. Oh my God. That's a, he's such a dick for that in the first place. Who says that? You know well, I mean? think the guy was trying to make a joke. Yeah. yeah, it, was yeah. A joke, it wasn't like bad intentions. Yeah. Thing, well, but I was just, I felt very embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable for sure. Mm-hmm. And then, so we took down that TikTok. Yeah, we did. And then we posted the second one, but that was fine because that was more about me. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. My, that was my like, would you let your girl pay for the first day? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the third TikTok, that was the one where the comments were like, y'all insecure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I think... Why do these guys... Y'all boys love to call girls insecure. They do, <laughs> you bro. You guys fucking love it. Dude, they do love that shit. I don't know shit. why. You guys get off on that shit or what? <laughs> it's like, also you have to realize that people saying hate comments, is they're behind a screen. Dude, they're, but they I've no never, ever, ever made a hate comment in my I've life. I've never made I know. So I'm like, how... Like, why? I mean, just because you don't doesn't mean someone else will I mean, not, but. I mean, that's the thing, though. It's like, why are you doing that? No, it is weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be <laughs> different to and post a hate comment? It's always on some, like, fake account. Fact. So that's exactly. why I feel like, why would you do that behind the screen just to tear down someone's right. confidence? Yeah, it's like, odd. You don't yeah. know what people are going through for, <laughs> for real. real, bro. That might be, like, the last, like, the last straw. Dead ass, so bro. So, y'all, like, please be careful about what you say. Yeah, people dude. People read it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, just, if you have no- nothing nice to say, just don't, don't say it. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Fact. But then, so I think after that, yeah. we took down that third TikTok. We did, we did. And then she said that she couldn't do it anymore. Right, mm-hmm. right. And then, like I said, I'll talk about it more in my, my yeah, house. Yeah, do it in your yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, that was basically it. Yeah, that yeah. was. But now I'm back. Yay. Yeah. What do you, so like, what do you think changed? So you said back then you were insecure? Yeah, or? but I think I found um, a better sense of self. Like I know who I am and I don't waver. Just because mm. I'm... Guys tell me I'm insecure. I know I'm not. Right. Oh. right yeah. Right. So everything they say, it's not validated. They don't know me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't really know who I am. So why would I listen to someone who I don't even know? Facts. They don't know me. Just take that shit with a grain of salt. I bro. do. Mm-hmm. I do. Now I do. But back then it was a little harder. Yeah. 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 No, nah, for real. I feel like first time being on social media too. Like not everyone. It yeah, it's harder to be an influencer than you think too. Yeah. Like that ass. All these influencers you see like they're actually professionals in ignoring the noise no dead ass bro. like yeah, everyone it's a lot harder yeah than then you think you want to respond sometimes like yo what the fuck are you <laughs> saying my g yeah. but yeah sometimes but you just at a certain hold point it you get used to it yeah and um yeah yeah, yeah. i'm glad you're back i'm glad you're back not for real bro yeah, yeah. B- w upgrade on cast for sure mm-hmm. w upgrade mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, that is my life story. Yeah. Anything else? Um, I have like kind of random questions specifically for you that uh, fans were asking me earlier when I was on live. Oh, for sure. Yeah. One of the questions was, you know how you met your ex at a rave? Yeah. So they're asking, what are your thoughts on raves now? Like, would you be down to meet someone like that again? Um, it really depends. Like, I think you could still do it, but just I would say 
keep in mind that you don't know who they are. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You really don't. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know it's a random ass person. No, facts. And then I had that one more classic question we always ask is what's one thing you think you learned about doing this podcast? Ooh. Um Learn how to speak better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um I learned that a lot of people are very empathetic to like your situation even though you think that no one can relate. Right, right, yeah. right. That is a good so point. So I'm very happy to share with you guys and you know, if you're going to do anything, please DM me and we'll, we can talk Ooh. about it. Yeah. Support line Jennifer. Okay. Yeah. Sheesh. 1-800 Jennifer. Sheesh. 1-800 <laughs> no, Jen so juicy. juicy. Woo. That's tough. That's tough, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Some sometimes all you need is someone who will listen. Yo, that's actually very nice of you, Jennifer. Yeah. We got I any feel other like c- I'm, okay, not to like be like, oh, I'm I'm like this, but I'm actually very like nice and understanding. <laughs> yeah, it's because you've been through a lot. Yeah, yeah. since yeah, I've yeah. since I've been through the stuff I have, yeah. I think I can find like I can find something in anyone. Like I know what they're going or like I can empathize. Yeah, you can relate well, well to hella people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even if it's not anything like as traumatic, I understand that a bad day is a bad day. Right, exactly. right. It doesn't matter what happened to you. Everyone goes through something. So sometimes mm-hmm. you really just need someone who will hear you out, even though it's something stupid. Like it's still valid. No, wow, I agree. Yeah. so nice. Yeah, no, for real, dude. Yeah. yeah. So don't ever feel because I think. Oh, another thing is I think if a lot of people feel guilt for. Um, for feeling th- those kind of ways. Mm-hmm. Like, they're like, oh, I have a good life, though. Like, I have a house. I have, like, friends. Yeah. I have a roof over my head. But your feelings are still valid. Like, if you're going through something, the emotions, the feelings of the emotions are still the same. Yeah. Dude, like, yeah. if you're heartbroken or if, you like, you feel betrayed, it's the same betrayal. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, don't ever feel like you can't feel your emotions because of like comparing to someone else's struggles yeah valid yeah. ass point like don't think your feelings are invalid or anything exactly. yeah no for sure yeah. and be kind to others and yeah i'm glad that i'm on here because i'm glad that i'm i'm telling people about this no for it real, feels bro. liberating low-key yeah dude it's really yeah. good i feel like that's one thing why me and you wanted you to be on it because dude you're, you're so experienced bro with so many different shits so you could teach so many people like yo don't do this don't do this you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dude, that's yeah. amazing. I'm happy. Yay. Yeah, no. Shout out Jennifer. Yeah, shout out to Jennifer. That yeah. was my episode. Thank you for opening yo. up, Jennifer. Yeah, yo, 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 I know yo, yo, that shit's yo. hard, man. Was yeah. that okay? That was great, bro. Yeah, that was good. Okay, cool. Should we move into the other questions now? Yeah. yeah let's go to the other questions. Can I eat one? You guys have a question. All right. So there's like this thing going on on TikTok, which is pretty much hating mm. on Asian friend groups. I've been seeing I've that. Seen hella, that. Hella, yeah. hella, dude. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about it because, yeah. you know, like we all understand the Asian friend group idea yeah. and like kind of just like tell everyone our own experiences and stuff. Yeah. Like the main thing I realized with Asian friend groups is that they're very not good at like introducing themselves to each other. Like what if you're you a new person in the friend group. Oh, yes, You know, yes, something yes. I realized is like I'll like go hang out with like a bunch of these new Asian people. Mm-hmm no one will really come up to me and say hi or introduce themselves to me. Yeah. It would yeah. be like, you have to have somebody where they like go up to them to say hi. Yeah, no, definitely. You know? Asians aren't that inclusive. No, they're, very they're not. Yeah. yeah. Very mm-hmm. judgmental too. No, for real. That's judgmental. another thing that's yeah. been popping on those TikToks that people have been saying yeah. mm-hmm. is that a reason why people don't like the Asian friend groups is because they're colorist, which is very mm-hmm. true. I know a lot of Asian people who they like being like around the lighter skinned Asians. Like this, um, <laughs> no, like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they don't like like the Southeast Asians. Right, right. And they treat them better because they think they're like jungle Asians or, or some shit. Really? Yeah, bro. You don't like my. I hear like the elderly grandmas and grandpas say that shit all the time, bro. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, grandmas. Like, yeah, the but older generation. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so trauma. Yeah, no, for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. I feel like I don't see as much in our. Do you see it more? Not as much, but I still see Asian people who are like, "Oh, I wish I was lighter." Like, there's no need for. You can even say that. You know what I mean? Like, you should be comfortable with your skin right, tone. Right, right. Of course, of course. But, um, wait, so what was the question? Like, uh, It was pretty much just talking about, like, Asian, like, Asian friend group hate. Because it's, like, not the... It, their Asian friend groups are toxic. They're very, like, manipulative and very, like, um, inc- like non-inclusive. What is it? What is it called? What's the word? They're very exclusive. They're exclusive. Because I haven't seen this trend. So, like, what, what I actually don't Basically, know. Basically, it's a trend where this dude is saying that 
all Asian friend groups are kind of toxic yeah. and then mm-hmm. it's getting stitched by hella random Asians being like, oh, I agree. You know what? I don't so like right. Asians for this reason. I don't like yeah, Asians for this yeah. reason. Oh, right? Okay. And now it's a shit ton of Asians being like, yo, yeah. should we even have an Asian friend group? Like, it's, maybe it should <laughs> be more diverse. I feel like it, there's like an unspoken thing but within Asians for sure where we feel more comfortable around each other I feel like I didn't really understand that until like out of co- like now that I'm older now right. I understand it too but mm. I feel like that's like the main reason why Asians tend to hang out with Asians more I agree there's you know? familiarity right there's familiarity. Right, right. yeah the toxic thing though do you agree like I, mean, I wouldn't say every Asian friend group but I would say a lot of Asian friend groups are mostly the thing I think that's the worst is the inclusive shit mm. or the exclusive shit like for example us at church right yeah. if there's a newcomer we would never talk to them. That's yeah. true. Right? That's We're true. very much like that. That's it's true. It's very clicky. Very clicky. Yeah. Are you saying like non-Asian friend groups are inclusive then? I feel like kind more. Of. Yeah. Oh, I really? Feel, I, think I feel like, yeah. They're more willing to add people, mm. but I think Asian um, groups have a very you can't sit with us mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, Sometimes like, I'm they still... They kind of thrive off of it. Like, low-key, yeah. yeah, low-key. I think it's because they love being like elite like elite yeah. within themselves yeah and it's kind of like yeah. oh you can't you can't join this like, right you, it's very mean girls it's no it's mean so girls. mean girls i like we hung out with like a bunch of new asians the other day mm-hmm. and like i walk into the room and not a single person really like said hi they just looked at me so i was like i can't yeah, so like, i just immediately went upstairs <laughs> yeah you know it's more like i feel like with girls mm-hmm. when they see another like pretty girl oh they yeah. feel threatened they do they so do. why would that you know what i'm saying yeah mm-hmm. that's a like i feel like you, you know that too no no, I I was like <laughs> literally got so anxious. I was like, I don't want to be here anymore, and like really? went straight upstairs. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like I'm not like that at all. I feel like e- even my friend group, if there's a new person in, we try our best to like make them feel as incredible. Right, 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 yeah, right, right. right, right. You know the Asians, I mean? yeah, they aren't doing that. Yeah. No, they yeah, are. I, I can I can admit to doing that shit. Yeah, yeah me too, yeah, me too. Yeah, I guess that is not normal. It's so normalized. Yeah, it is for <laughs> us. Mm-hmm. But that's also not to say that all Asian friend groups are bad. Like some of those TikToks, yeah, yeah, bro, they're yeah, taking yeah. it way too far. Really? Making it seem like e- like dead ass every Asian person is like toxic as shit. I feel like also like our Asian friend, it's like your Asian friend group is more mainly guys. You know what I mean? I feel like there has to be like a good ratio between girls and guys for it to be like really like toxic. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? Because they all start like dating each other. I've yeah, seen yeah. that. That's oh, what yeah. a lot of them say. Oh, that's what they're saying yeah, too, they bro. Like mm, they like recycle within. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's just the friend group thing in general. Hey, they ain't yeah, lie about no, that one. No, that's a friend group no, thing dude, they, yeah, in general. I feel like that's like, a friend any group girl thing. guy group, they're gonna mess around. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's hilarious though? You know how like a bunch of those TikToks have been going around about the Asian shit? Now I see like black people, like white people, they'll be like, Yo, I'm, I'm exposed in. my friend group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Shit's hella funny. But I thought it was funny because it was just like specifically Asian friends. I know. I yeah. don't know why it's going so viral right it's, now. It's true. I mean, because it's true. Yeah, yeah. The church shit you brought up was so true. Like, Dude, yeah. Back in the day, like, because uh-huh. our friend group was already solidified. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The newcomers would come and they would leave in two weeks because yeah, like, they had no homies. I think yeah. our church had a bad rep. Like, no one Terrible would, rep. No newcomer would stay. <laughs> no dead ass. No <laughs> one really? would stay. Yeah, no one would stay. Even like girls? Oh, yeah. girls, girls maybe worse. Girls, yeah. guys. Girls, guys. Yeah, yeah. bro. That really? shit was bad. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of a bully. Yeah, <laughs> really? and it, especially because it was a Korean church. Yeah, like, bro. Koreans especially are kind of like are territorial dude, and shit. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, especially yeah. if a non-Korean came to the church, like <laughs> <laughs> side eye. Yeah, dude. <laughs> kind of fucked, but it was very bombastic. Moving past that yeah. though, you said you had a question for us too, right? Do you guys think it's a good idea to get a pet with your significant other? Ooh, <laughs> great question. Great question. Like a dog? No, unless you guys are going to get married. Same, I agree. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's not even like you're guaranteed to you get married, though. No, but what if you break up? Then what? No, get like a hamster, like a two-year li- lifespan thing. Like, don't get a hamster. Two-year lifespan right. thing. Yeah. yeah. A hamster, I mean, I feel like nobody wants a fucking hamster. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's honestly not that big of a deal. Yeah. Like dude. if you are got if you guys are kind of living together already and you yeah. guys want a dog, yeah. Just decide like who Who's the main? Yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> decide the main guy? So there needs to be like a main owner. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> but it's tough because like if you break I, up? I know a lot of people break up and they use that. Can I come see the dog? <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah. They do. Bro. You know what I'm saying? They and do. They're just trying to hit one more time. You ride on that one. Yeah, you ride on that easy. one. No, exactly. I don't know if you remember our old guest that listened, Trey. Yeah. The, they broke up, right? Yeah. Dude, they have like six pets together. Oh, shit. Right? And I got a cut from him like a couple months ago. Yeah. And I was like, what's going on with that? 
and it's like what you said, like they see each other time to time to trade off the pets. Oh my god. So it's like if you do get into a new relationship, your yeah. new partner probably probably would be like, yo, oh, that's, no, not that's it. exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, that is true actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just no pets with your partner then. Dude, that's not it. Huge red flag. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. still going over to see the pets right. in a new relationship. See, right. I, yeah, I wouldn't be okay with that either though. If my ex like had a pet with another girl. Yeah, with his yeah. No. Who's your pet? You would you tell him. them to stop visiting him? Oh, yeah. Would you? Mm, I would want to go with him to mm. visit. So you, like him, ass. the dog, and his ex? Yeah. That's weird. That's <laughs> that's weird. So I don't know about that one that's either. That's so fucking that's weird. weird. No, but that's also, it just, I, w- I wouldn't like that. I want to feel comfortable with so my, you're saying my boyfriend going over to his ex's house to yeah. see her, his dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no, no. That's like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, weird yeah it, is weird. it is but weird. But are you saying it's also weird to like keep the dog from a from a past relationship and bring it to your relationship? No, that's not weird. It's not oh, weird. I think that's no, fine. No, that's not weird. Like, okay. oh, like my ex like kept the dog. Like it was his now. Yeah, like yeah. he got a dog with his ex, uh-huh. and then now you're dating him. Yeah. Okay, I, that's better. Yeah, that's way yeah. better. Wait, yeah. honestly, dude, I would not fuck with that. Now that I think about it, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, it's like, bro, this ex and my girl, for example, right? Yeah. Named this dog to get <laughs> You know, they named a muffin or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a little muffin. Every time she shouts his name, it's like, yup, I made this name with this fucker. Yeah. You know, yeah. Ah, I don't it's know. It's hard. But what's she going to say? Like, kill the dog? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Definitely not. But I was just thinking about it. I was like, fuck, that is a rough one. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I wouldn't even get a dog with my. I wouldn't get a pet with my partner in general like i want to but yeah now i think about that idea <laughs> unless we're gonna get married right that's right, like right. a baby little muffins kind of stepdaddy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. okay well i got, moving on i got another question from uh-huh. one of the homies or one of the supporters but they're saying let's say you're in a pretty large friend group right and your boy's hitting on a girl that has a has a boyfriend but he doesn't know that she's got a man's right mm-hmm. would you t- but you know mm-hmm. you know this girl has a man's mm-hmm. so would you tell your boy like yo chill out she's got a man's or would you just let him do his thing dude it's the girl's responsibility to tell him oh of course i, yeah. I agree 100 percent. yeah but mm-hmm. i would definitely let him know oh you would let him know of course yeah if Seriously. i knew that yeah i would let him know like, so you're, have, uh, you're saying that your friend is hitting on a girl right that has a boyfriend right and okay. she's she's flirting back though Oh, mm. she's flirting she's back. She's flirting back. And your question is, would I let my boy know? Yeah, would you let him... Like, you know that she has a she has a man's, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, right, so right. would you let him know? Honestly, no. I was just like, bro... Not I mean, saying. You do you. I mean... You same. Know but you don't really know the girl? Like, you kind of know the girl? Yeah, we know the girl. Oh. We know she has a man's. Oh, but he doesn't. Yeah. If my boy succeeds... Yeah. It's not his fault. Exactly. It's exactly. Not, it's the girl's <laughs> fault. Like, she has a man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I would let him know and then let him do it. I, would, I wouldn't I would let try him to urge you. him one way. Uh-huh. I'd be like, I wouldn't be like, oh, she, she has a girlfriend. Like, don't do that. Yeah. I would just be like, she, she has a girlfriend. And do it. But what you going to Yeah, yeah what you going to say they're, after? They're talking over there and you're going to start barging. Yo, she, no, she got a girl. No, this would be like an after I mean, thing. This would be like an after, after thing. thing. I would, I would I say like. I would barge in and like stop the conversation. Yeah. Well, then after like the end of the night, no, they could have already made out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and, I, and then I would let him know. Oh, mm. okay, okay. I guess I would do that too. Like, yeah. yo, you know, you know, she got you a man, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would, yeah, actually, I would yeah, be yeah. like, we'll chill out, like, you know. She yeah, has no yeah. facts. I want to, I want to say chill out. No, yeah, I, would I, would just, say, I would just, you know, because like, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, for <laughs> real, bro. For real, really, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stay out of it, but I gotta let them know what I know. Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay. I think like. <laughs> <laughs> Because guys are dogs, man. Yeah, dude. You know, and like I think guys are trained to shoot their shot. They are. Dude, guys don't really care. Yeah. Dude, guys really don't care. Dude, yeah, bro. I like. I think it's so an extra sad. pat on your back if you can get a girl with a man's. Low key in, in the my, guy circle, that's so true. In the guy universe, yeah. yeah. Really? It's like a flex. It's like, bro, yeah. I just piped this girl who has a whole man. Yeah, it's Mr. Steel girl. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Like, if you can wheel a fucking girl, <laughs> <laughs> like, with a boyfriend. Yeah. That's like, so fucked up. Bro. Is the girl world like that? No. It's, it's not like that? Dude, no, you're no, so looked God. down on. You're like, yeah, like, you are. You're, yeah, you're all types of shit. Like, you're yeah. a slut, you're a whore. Yeah. Like, Fuck. Like, every name in the book. <laughs> It is pretty different with guys, like Yeah, guys, bro. We actually compliment. It's like, damn, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if anything, they might even know that and want to do it even more. Right. You Dude, know? That's a thing, too. Oh, like, she has the, a man. And you they know. know. Oh, she cuffed. Yeah. But that makes her more attractive. So you try harder to get at her. Yeah. That's a thing, too. 
It, I feel like that's the thing with girls too. I feel like guys get hotter if they're cuffed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? I feel like, yeah. Oh, like other girls look at him yeah. better? Mm. We have one last random question. This is going back to what we were talking about before we even start turning the cameras on. But as a guy, how can you differentiate if a girl is flirting or just being nice? <laughs> like, how the fuck can we tell? Because you guys will be like, oh, yeah, I was just being nice. But I'm like, bro, I swear you was flirting with him. Dude, I was actually just being nice. Dude, you got to know your I place. Feel, too. Exactly. But also, can you get some tips? Because honestly, I would even get confused, I feel like. Dude, I don't know. I feel like I just like talk a lot when I'm drunk and like we'll keep talking. You know mm, what I mean? Okay. So then I'm not, but I'm not like trying to, if I'm grabbing your arm, I'm like looking at you different. Right, you know uh, what I mean? I feel like that's when I'm like flirting, flirting. Okay. Or I'm making banter with a guy. You know what I mean? So can I bring up the party example? So basically... Don't say like names. Or yeah, 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 no names. Not. Yeah, no names. So basically, Megan was talking to these two guys yeah. for a good amount of time at this party. Mm-hmm. And then the day after, she was kind of like weirded out that, that, that they texted her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, what, what we were saying was like, <laughs> yo, you spent time right. together at this party right. for like what, 20, long. 30 minutes. Yeah. And of course they're going to text you. No, I same good conversation or whatnot yeah bro like how the fuck do we know as guys yeah. bro it's not like you guys are gonna start making out in the middle of a party i'm also i have to like i feel like it'd be known if like it was like a oh text me back you know i always say like text me in the morning or something you know but i feel like this was more of like a business transaction you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i did look I like that yeah, no, no business yeah. talked yeah. about yeah. Yeah. It did not look yeah, like no business yeah, yeah. What transaction. What was y'all talking about? It's not like I was freaking making out with these people at all. I, I was know. Like standing next to them having a conversation this entire time. The whole party, bro. Yeah. And then you're weirded out that they texted you the no, day I'm after. I weirded out about it, but I didn't realize it was coming off like that. Yeah. I think just because like if I was thinking about in our shoes, right? Yeah. Say we're both seeing on a girl we don't know. Yeah. Talking to us the whole party. The whole party. Dude, I'm texting her tomorrow. Bro, I'm thinking we're already dating. Yeah. <laughs> bro, like, what? Facts, bro. bro. The whole party think, I'm talking to this girl? No, I think literally. I always just like pick one person at a party and I get super close to them. You do, you do. You and do. like use them. At, they're like my party partner for the night. Yeah, it's a party partner. Party you know partner. I, mean? I always have a party partner. That's foreign yeah. to me. It's, yeah, it's I, really I, different when you're flirting with someone. I think when you're yeah. flirting, you're very like flirty. Like, Dude, I'm so flirty. But we were just friendly, not yeah. flirty. Ah, uh, yeah, it's tough, But bro. you can see how guys take that as a green light. No. What? You can't see it? I think it's it goes back to the question of like guys and girls being friends. Like guys don't think that girls can be friends with them. Do you know what I mean? But I automatically think of it as friends at first. Unless I'm trying to get at them. I think it was just, you know, the drunkness and like exactly. yeah, the yeah, conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But there's no but you there's no way you guys were acting like friends too. You were definitely grabbing on to it. Like occasional you, yeah, 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 yeah. moving through the crowd. Like you definitely like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no way no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So is there just no clear-cut answer on that? It's just, as a guy, you just have to know. You just have to have the nunchi. I mean, like, once, if you don't get a text back. Like, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess. I that's guess, that's, I that's guess. how you know. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's good that, like, he shot his shot. Yeah. But, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel like. Bounce back. <laughs> yeah. I just have a party partner for things. You know what I mean? Right, but is that is that, like. Is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing to do to a new person? Ooh, that's a better like, question. Obviously, you can, you know, if you have a friend already, go to a par- party together. That's like, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you meet someone new at a party and then they hang out with them the whole time. That is a interesting point. I'll tell them too. Oh, you, you tell them, them what? You tell them what? I'm like, you're my party partner for the night. I don't really See, know. That's like oh, a flirty. That's, actually, yeah, that's, that's very flirty. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, that's, that's like, very flirty. Yeah, that's like. Really? Yeah, I'm that's like, oh, like she's with me tonight. I'm, yeah, yeah, you're, you're like yeah, that's by like, my side. I'm fantasizing about her future. Like, <laughs> no, dead ass. No, dead ass. Dead ass. I guarantee you, he went home like, oh, shit. Like, I'm planning my first date. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. a party partner for yeah. life. Or he might have been For life. For life. For I guarantee you that, bro. Oh, but it's just because you're nice, though, honestly. Yeah. That's the thing. It's just, yeah, it's, it's tough, dude. I think that happens a lot, though. It happens girls. a shit, though. That's yeah. what I'm saying, bro. Guys all struggle with that shit, bro. It's because guys, like, when the energy's good, yeah. conversation good, chemistry good. No, like, the, they're gonna, the, like, what else needs to be good? Yeah, yeah. They're like, see, good, like, I'm, I finally found my one. Right, right. And then Megan's like, oh, just, that's my friend that I made. Yeah. Why I'm is like, he texting me now? Like, what the fuck, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> no more partner partners, I guess. I know. Damn, we just have to like hang out alone, I guess. I nah, nah, nah. Like, yeah. no, I'm just saying, like. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that. Do, wait, do you understand why? It no, can be I, misinterpreted? I think. Yeah, but I think it's also just because I think that's just like my personality in general. I'm just very outgoing and like very, yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah, open yeah. about things. Like I'm not like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I want to make you feel comfortable too. That is you true know, too. I'm like also, I'm, I feel like I'm very inclusive at yeah. things like this. Like if my friends are coming, I'm, I'm introducing it to every single person there. Right, of course. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Of course. So I think I just like come off that way. But it's never like, I'm not, it's not ill intentions. I'm not like directly flirting with you and right, trying to right. like get in your pants and then mm-hmm. not replying to you the next day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just the way life goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's it for the questions. Yeah. Um, Are you the challenge? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy, enjoy this week's episode. Mm-hmm. We're going to do the uh, cinnamon challenge. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So we're going to be playing one on one heads up. We're going to give them a superhero. And then they're going to ask each other questions, and basically the loser has to do the cinnamon challenge, and then we're going to do it with me and Paul. Yes, sir. All right, so this is for Megan. This is what she got to guess, and this is what Jennifer got to guess. Is it a DC character? No. Okay. Okay. Is mine a DC character? I don't know if Jennifer knows that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. Okay. Wait, no. That's hard! I know. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, you go. It's not a DC Wait. character. It's not okay. a DC okay. character. I'll help her out. Okay. Is it a man? Yeah, it's a man. Okay. Is mine a man? Yes. Okay. <laughs> is his superpower strength? Is one of them? One of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no okay. Is mine? Is mine an older oh, superhero? No. Oh. oh. Does this guy have a partner? No. Solo? Solo. Solo dolo. Okay. Does my character like it was born? Was they born with it? I don't. No. No. Okay. Go. Does my character transform? Not like, not like really, really. Yo. Not like really, really. What kind of answer is that? Okay. Yeah. Um, is mine a Spider-Man? No. Okay. Is mine Iron Man? No. <laughs> <laughs> is mine? Bro. Like, did they like eat something? No. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer's taking a minute to think about each question. No. Is it Captain America? No. <laughs> they start okay. guessing is, it, is it Ant-Man? Oh, oh fuck! Oh. Paul Rudd, baby! Oh. Let's go! Wait, how dare you give me yeah. oh, Bro, that's too easy. easy. That's yeah. easy. too easy. I was about to change it because oh, it's really? too easy. That's easy. Oh, dude, I'll show you how it's done, bro. Soldiers. Okay. So this, this, this is for Jason and this is for Paul. And we're doing villains now, yeah. not superheroes. Okay. Okay. I have my eyes closed. Yeah. yeah. Close your eyes. My eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. All right. Are you good? Jason, can you grab it? Okay. Ben. Okay. I'll go first. <laughs> is mine a guy? Yeah. Okay. Is mine a guy? Yeah, it's a guy. Okay. Is mine white? White? Is he white? Like, is he American? <laughs> like the uh, like the actor? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an American movie, yeah. No, not American. Is the character American? Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is he in the Marvel or DC? Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Is mine Marvel or DC? Neither. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So mine's a Marvel and a guy. Is it Thanos? No. no. <laughs> Does mine have a like a specific costume? Like, is he a human? Yeah. He's a human. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Is he green? <laughs> he has some green. He has some green. Some green. Like, what percentage of green? Uh, like, over fifty or less than fifty percent green? I'd say right around that fifty percent mark. Fifty. Okay. Yeah, right around that. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. That's like that's good. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ah. <laughs> uh, Wait, how's mine in neither? Is my guy a uh, human human villain? Yeah. <laughs> human villain. Uh, who is a human it's villain? It's so hard, it's hard, bro. Fuck, oh, bro. Can I just ask you, what's the main color of my guy? Or no, is that too easy? Uh, no, it's yes or no question. Yeah, yeah, yes yeah. or no? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Main color, yeah. Okay, is his weapon a... Uh, <laughs> Wait, does he have a go-to weapon? Like a main yeah, yeah, weapon yeah, yeah. that he's he known for? Weapon. He has main weapon. Okay. Is mine, uh... Fuck, bro. 
The Green Goblin? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck! It's not that, it's not that. Wait, okay. 50% green? 50% green? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50%? Right. Is, that, is that wrong? No, it's 100% green. 100% right. green. 100% green. No! Well, not, they're not skin isn't green, but you know how like each one has their own like color? You, you just gave away the whole answer, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't. What the no, fuck? I don't think he's gonna he get it. He's, he's not gonna get okay, it if he doesn't understand. I have no idea. A, a white human villain. <laughs> what the white? That was so weird, bro. Because <laughs> he's like Black Panther's black. Right, right. Oh. So is he a white guy? <laughs> yeah, he's black. Oh, yeah, well, that was a oh, yeah, previous yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. New question, though? How is he neither from Marvel or DC? And I'm supposed to know him. Oh my god. He's you a could, yeah, he's a villain. very popular villain. He's a popular It's like villain. probably one of the number ones. Yeah. Thanos. No! <laughs> Thanos. Well, we could have a different one. Thanos is in Marvel, bro. Uh, green villain from Marvel, bro? <laughs> is it a name I know? Like, what if it's an obscure ass name? That's no, no, a name. It's a name I know. Yeah. Is mine Loki? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro, this is not a superhero, bro. That's yeah, a okay. villain. <laughs> We've been doing villains. I thought that's a superhero villain. No, dude, superhero and villain are very two different things. Yo, what the? This guy's so much easier. Dude, that's a villain though. He's a superhero though. No, he's a villain. Bro, <laughs> duh, dude, this don't count. We gotta run it back. That Darth the Vader, bro. We talking about Marvel and DC. We, no, we said look, no Marvel. Think, DC. No, think about this: Black Panther, right? <laughs> Fucking Ant Man, Loki, and then Darth Vader. <laughs> no, but you could, you guys could have gone outside of DC and Marvel for us. Bro. This is ridiculous. Actually, yeah, Paul's was a little Dude, right ridiculous, bro. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't fit the theme. I'll do it. No, I'll, I'll do this in the challenge, but it. bro, come on. Hey, viewers at home, y'all know, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> that one has more sound. Like no, wait, wait, wait. I'll just take a little less off mine. Dude, it's just because it's a bigger spoon. <sighs> okay. Oh. Dude, that's a shit ton. You mean like? <laughs> it's a challenge. Okay, okay yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. Are we recording right now? Yeah. It all right. smells good. Hey, for all the boys at home, look at how much fucking cinnamon we're about to down. Oh. All right, Jennifer, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro. Yo, yo. Wait, 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 yo. What? It's in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually gonna swallow it? I'm trying. Mm. Oh, I got some lava coming out. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer's chilling. It's fine. It's just oh. disgusting. I can't swallow it, bro. No? You can spit it out. Sorry, boys. Yo. <laughs> oh. oh my god, it's hella spicy. Oh. Thank you for watching this week's episode and the challenges. Yes, sir. We hope you enjoyed the Jennifer Lee episode as well. Mm -hmm. And we're the 9 for 9 podcast, baby. Peace out.